Hey everybody, how are you? Okay, let me see if this is on. I think it's working. Okay, so today I'm gonna show you a, an animal. This is gonna be a chicken. Oh, look at this chicken. Yep, that's what we're gonna do today. So this was the first try and I like it and I think it's a good idea. It looks like a chicken. So let's do it. You're gonna need different sizes of balloons. Yep. But I think when you use different size of balloons, it looks better. So, look, you have orange 260, 160 white, 160 red, 160 yellow, and then at 350 for the body white, right? And this is the thing. This is just a small balloons, but you can always make this design bigger if you, instead of this 350 white, you can go with a, what, um, 650, right? Uh, white so you can always kind of make this design bigger so now let's start the first balloon I used were the orange orange to 60 and inflated like what what is this seven finger tail yep now you're gonna make like four or five finger bubble here another bubble the same size so I'm using five finger bubble five finger bubble yes so Connect it together and then one more five finger bubble, pass it through and then one more five finger bubble. And you grab this, this part, the nozzle and twist it together like this. So it's all locked, yep. Now you can cut this, but save the rest of the orange because we're gonna also use it. You will use all this. Now, you're gonna connect here the 350 white, and it's gonna be inflated like 10 finger tail. Okay, now you're gonna tie this together. So, there we go. And you're gonna make a pinch twist here. Pinch twist, yep. Then here you're gonna measure like 10 finger bubble eight and two so 10 finger bubble and then you're gonna go with a pinch twist and then go back with a 10 finger bubble and we're gonna just go one more time and make a bubble that is a little bit longer than this one so this one is gonna be 10 Finger bubble, this one's gonna be mm, 12. So you just give it a little bit of, of curve, you see? Like 12 finger bubble and got it like this. Okay. Now you don't need the, this anymore. You break it, break it and tight. Okay, just in case I leave in some space here. Just in case and you will see why in a moment. Okay. You have this. Now remember the orange, we're gonna start attaching. So it's gonna go into this pinch twist. I'm gonna go from this side because that's the side that I'm, I can see and it's better. But you can see, you have to touch it there. And then from there, you're gonna make bubbles, six bubbles all the way to the other side of the pinch twist. Let's do that. I don't wanna, let's see, one, two, three four five and one more and six and go around and connect it and there you can pop this so you don't need this anymore save it for with your balloon scraps tie it or pass it around a couple times like many times as, as you have those choices okay now you have something like this and this is the thing chickens they have a small heads that's why you know i'm doing this idea to uh, because i forgot to show you you see that picture kind of that was the ideas that i used from google to make this design so there's two and my, my first intention was the one with the brown uh, what is feathers but then I was thinking, well, that will make me use an, or another balloon. And I don't think it looks so bad just like this, right? 
so it's still looking like a chicken but if you want to try that design maybe these two first bubbles can be brown but then the rest this one keep it white okay now what else we can use well, we can grab our 160 with whoa, what is this nine finger tail you're not going to use it all you just need to make look you're going to start with a loop like you decide how big you want that i'm making like two and a half finger loop and then you're going to make two pinch twists so two pinch twists so you have something like this and you're going to just repeat this but in between you're going to leave one finger bubble or very small like half a finger bubble you see a small bubble and then you're going to do the same a loop and you can make two pinch twists so remember before each time you uh, twist you make sure you're squishing the balloon that's the trick right that's the idea so the balloons they don't pop and you do this one more time one finger bubble or half a finger bubble very small bubble there and then you are going to make a loop and make pinch twist and look it doesn't have to be the same size this one seems smaller and it's great you know it's fine because then it doesn't they are don't know the same size all those things from the chicken so now you make a pinch twist one more pinch twist and that's it so now you're gonna cut this balloon but leaving some space just like that so when you have that you're gonna attach it to the head like this so you pass it through this bubble oops if this came on them it's okay don't worry things are gonna be locked um also with a beak so you have it here you pass it through here grab them pull let's see if you can see and then attach it to this part okay okay when you have that make sure you accommodate things the way you want it so that's kind of the way okay now i like this one kind of like this one so the other side you see now we're gonna use a yellow 160 and yes yellow 160 and you're gonna make this look it's gonna be probably three finger bubble and then one smaller like one and a half or two finger bubble there that's gonna be the big yep you're gonna cut leaving some space and don't get rid of the air here because it's gonna be for the legs so now you tie this Pum, 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 pum. and you just attach it in between these two bubbles pass it all the way through and then pull and attach it through here you see there's and you just attach it and you can tie it if you want or just pass it a couple of times it's gonna be good enough okay so you have this now when you have that we are going to um go with this part look it's the 160 white inflated like nine finger tail and what you're gonna do is gonna be three pinch twists okay three pinch twists and then you're gonna put it like this and you're gonna make one finger bubble and then you're gonna make three pinch twists again that's what you're gonna do so that way that's gonna be for the legs to come out so now this part you're gonna do this I'm gonna pass it through this bubble in between here like open it pass it through but now here is the part that you're gonna look at this measure you don't want this too long but also not not too short just right there and then twist it like close this 
Okay, now you cut and save this. That's why um, save it and you can even add more air. I think it's gonna be better if you add more air. So I'm gonna do that right now. So I'm gonna make sure I don't get, so I don't lose this. So I'm gonna pass this <laughs> around, but maybe, so instead of inflated, I see. I say nine finger tail. So you're gonna leave probably six finger tail and that will be enough. That then you don't have to blow this a little bit more and complicate your life like the way I'm doing it. So I'm, I'm using my agenda here. So I inflate all the way, but leaving some space because the thing is with this, we're gonna make loops. We're gonna make loops, like four finger loops. And we're gonna connect it all together. And the thing is the last one, you can um, just leave some space there and tie it and tie, you see? So then with the rest, you can make three finger loop. And this is why I told you before, save this little spark here as a little tip from the 350, because in case you don't run out of a space here of the 160 balloon to attach it to this pinch twist, you can just connect it together and use that 350 balloon extra here that you left and pass it through and that's gonna be all locked okay okay now you decide how you want to leave this because there is different ways like this or or like this but it's just the idea to look a little bit crazy and I'm, and I kind of like it this way you tell me what do you think about this idea but I think like that why not right so there you go. So you decide that how to, you know, but I like like, like that. <laughs> now you have this. So make sure everything looks tight. And now you're gonna grab, open this pinch twist because in the middle of these three pinch twists, this pin, three, three pinch twists, what you're gonna do is attach the yellow balloon, the leg that we have from the beak, we attach it from to here. Okay, so we're going to one side, and now we're going to measure just two finger bubble, and then we're going to make a pinch twist, and we're going to measure here one finger bubble, and then one more one finger bubble, and then a pinch twist, and then you are going to go with a two finger bubble. Okay, so we're gonna touch it right there in the other three pinch twist with a white, white three pinch twist. Okay, so when you have that, cut this piece. Don't get rid of this yet because I'm gonna show you the last part. That is still, you know, for, for the legs. So you make sure here you tie it. That's what I'm doing. I'm tying the chicken. <laughs> and you have this. So what you need to do now, it's to do this, look. Make like one finger bubble, another one finger bubble, and cut, tight. Because you're gonna have to repeat and do this one more time. But when you have that, it was one finger bubble, one finger bubble, you tie it, and you find like this, you have this. And that's what you're gonna connect here. Each pinch twist is gonna hold one of these, like this. So those are gonna be the chicken legs, chicken feet. So now let's do that. And then, of course, you can cut these pieces, or you can pretend are the nails. You decide. <laughs> now let's see. One finger bubble, another one finger bubble. Cut and tie. And if this get undone, it's okay. You can twist it again in half and accommodate it into the, the other pinch twist, the other feet. So you have there your chicken legs, you see? Huh, let me know, what do you think about this design? I think it's a really cute, it's, it's, it's cool. I think my client is gonna be happy because I have a, orders of to make chickens and the 4-H uh, cloths. Okay, so now this is the thing. For the eyes, you can do it with Sharpie and you can just make two dots, black dots. That's fine. But also I have this and I've been sharing this uh, type of stickers 
on Amazon you can buy it, you know, for sure. A day, um, I already shared the link, I'm gonna see if I found this again, so you can see. Uh, there's lots of this one inch circle white, but what I like about the white is with sharp is I can make different type of eyes, you see? So those are the type of eyes I'm gonna add to this chicken. But as, as I'm saying, already this design, look, it's a chicken, already. And you don't have to uh, make fancy eyes or anything. I just, because I had to give it to the client, I'm making this type of stickers and I just add it. And the thing is I add the head very, you know, the eyes are high here. I leave like maybe one finger distance from this red thing. There you go. And you can even go fancier, <laughs> more fancy and add eyelashes. Yep. So you decide all the things you can add to your chicken and all depends how much time you have. Remember that because if there is no time, well, you know, you just give it a, that's what you just make a black circle with Sharpie. But what I'm doing here is the eyelashes and some eyebrows and that's it. I'm going to leave it this way. Look, there's another thing you can do for this design. And what is this? It's not gonna be like too obvious, people probably not gonna notice unless you know. But in, in real time, you know, in real, like the camera, I don't know if they can see, but I make some feathers, you see, with Sharpie. Um, probably you cannot see it, but I'm gonna do it. And it's just white Sharpie and make, you know, the idea of feathers. It's just whoop, loops, you see? Let me see if I can maybe accommodate this thing and you can see better. What do you think? Hmm, nothing, right? <laughs> well, I try, I try it. Okay, I hope you like this design. I think it's a cute chicken. And I'm sure here in Wyoming, mean, they're gonna love it. Awesome, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Hey, one more thing. If you like this video, if you are enjoying all of my videos here and this awesome YouTube channel about balloon twisting tutorials, don't forget, you can always donate because all you give money, it's very well appreciated for this channel to be better, you know? So you go um, go donate to my uh, PayPal account, alpacaglobal at gmail.com. And I will appreciate it for sure. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.